these things look when they come off the car. Um, some of these, these are these big screws we were talking about that hold them up into the top of the car. These just pulled out of the holes. The, the hole had rotted around them or it was soft. Where on the other end here, we have one of our signature uh, uh, holes made by a hole saw where we had to hole saw the screw out. But it's effectively these two big screws. Let me see who that is. Simply something or other. These. This is the way thing, these things look when they come off the car. Uh, they're one unit uh, screwed together in the middle. Um, the screw joint is a lapped joint. And I have to take these things apart in order to work on them. And they're put together with the, with the old steel slotted screws. And you can see a couple of them here. Here are some look like nails, maybe screws that were cut off to get them out but they're also screwed together. So I'll uh, dig these screws, I say dig them. These guys usually back out because they've been covered up, they haven't had the weather as much as, as some of them, so probably these will come out. I, what I do to do that is clean out the slot very carefully, and then I have a, a screwdriver bit that I put in an old-fashioned bit brace, which gives me a lot of torque. And if I rock them back and forth, sometimes they'll just come right out. Sometimes they snap off. Sometimes the head snaps off, you know, and all the other things happen. Once these are out, then these two separate into two halves. And the, the way these windows were, were built, this is the piece we just cut out and shaped more or less from here to here. They were built with this tail that went along the top and that, that edge board, as we talked about, went down and sat in the groove. These things are in pretty good shape and we can put them back on, so I, I'm not worried about those. But getting them off is the same project because it's the steel screws, steel slotted screws. Uh, this one's short, this one's long. These come out fairly easily. These are more of a challenge. Uh, if I break the head off or snap the slot out on these things, what I do is drill them with a biggish bit to just drill a head off them. And then I can pull this piece up off the screw mm -hmm. and then wind the stump out of there, usually. So they do come apart, but the, the first thing I would have to do with any of these is take them apart these are all marked, this is 4R, for, for right, um, as to which, where they came off the car. The, op so, the opening on the yeah. car. So we can be sure that they go back just where they came from. A bunch of them, I don't know if you want to go here, but a bunch of them are broken in interesting ways that we aren't prepared to fix, like this one here, which is a piece of the edge of this wood, this, this one and five eighths thin, thick uh, poplar has just snapped right off mm. at some point. So what I will do there, in fact I have one here that has the treatment. What I will do there, and this was put on yesterday, so I'll get the clamps off and you can see what we're doing. I set a piece of wood in there and the piece of wood is just a scrap of this poplar from this, the rest of this operation. But I, I've glued a piece in there, and uh, I'll run that through the shaper when I'm putting the, the new end piece on there, and that'll fill in this kind of missing piece that's sheared right off. Hmm. Uh, so I save you know, all the scrap. I mean, there won't be enough scrap to make a good sandwich by the time I'm... <laughs> done with this because I'm using every single bit that I can find. This area, in fact, is the sick bay. <laughs> it, has, it has the various basket cases of, um, you know, like this guy, which um, was, this was on its way off, just like those others, but I caught it, so I was able to glue it back on, and when that gets milled, the glue will get taken off, and that's the usual end we cut off anyway. Um, this guy was the same story. That, that same piece was on its way, uh, and I caught it and was able to get glue into its crack, so that'll stay on there. 
uh, and we won't have to do anything. And this is the end that I cut off. In fact, I noticed this was loose when I cut that off. I thought, holy cow, we're going to lose that. So I have a little area over here where we fix <laughs> fix problems. Now this had a very minor version of that. This little piece is missing. I'll have to do something about that. But this was yesterday's little <laughs> discovery of loose things. And so, so yeah. then I inside these triangles or these corners is, is where the vertical side sheathing actually yep. goes on the exterior of the car. Yep. And those those have the, I, I know you're not working on that particular thing, but right. I mean, I can see inside that there's actually... There is a little, one little piece <laughs> up in there. Yeah. Uh, these people were nothing if they weren't thorough. <laughs> and each of these these units has a little teeny weeny triangular piece of this yeah. vertical siding to maybe a better look at what the, the idea of the vertical siding. One can see this, which is a uh, sort of a mock-up we oh, did yeah. of one of them. But there's some of the, it shows the vertical siding yeah. going in there. Hmm. as the mock-up that was done for the last. Uh, and and uh, as I recall, the, this is also poplar. Could be. I think. I think it's I also haven't, popular. I haven't yeah. been uh, been involved in that yeah. yet. Along with those, uh, the very thin, narrow roof boards. I think those are popular as well. Those yeah, tongue and groove. They are. You're right. I. Nobody cares about this. I just showed you this, but I save everything, including those little triangular pieces, and I mark them as to which window they came out of. Now, awesome. whether we're going to put them back. Yeah, or not. we are. <laughs> we are. We are. Okay, that's the little yeah. wedge piece that gets yeah. jammed up in where those two yeah, pieces I think, meet. Uh, the volunteer Ernie. You, you met Ernie, and uh, yes, I met yeah, Ernie. Yeah. Ernie has. Uh, He's working. That this is one of his. And there's another one. <laughs> oh, there. If so, he's I, probably looking for those. Well, <laughs> if I got them, here they are. Yeah. <laughs> but they otherwise, without this, they would have had a little hole right through the yeah. car. Right. So, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Cool. They did. Uh, a great uh, <laughs> rusty. Rusty screw. Steel. What had it? Broken off ends. We can put in our broken off end collection. <laughs> The, the reason, a reason why, it may be of a little bit of interest, why this one is cut here rather than being cut down lower is for practical reasons, the making of jigs and this finger joining and stuff, I cut them all in the same place. I figured out where was the highest they typically broke, mm -hmm. cut them all there. Because if this one had been cut down here and some other one had been cut here and some other one had been cut somewhere else, it would be... <laughs> I use the word impossible, yeah. but it would have been so close to impossible to do this, yeah. you know, with... Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 you know, I would think another thing, if they failed in those areas previously, then down the road, the likelihood is yep. that they'll yep. be susceptible to failure Asking again. Asking for failure yeah. again, yeah. where I think we've caught it, where that, before that grain begins to be really cross grain, and when we put our straight grain piece on, that yeah. has grain running down here, I think we've, I think we've 